Let's take a look at solving these trigonometric equations. 2 cosine squared of x plus sine of x minus 1 equals 0 on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. The first stage in the process is to recognize the following, that cosine squared of x can be written equivalently as 1 minus sine squared of x. You can get that from the basic Pythagorean identity. And then from there, what you can do is you can replace in the equation. So it's going to be 2, and the cosine squared of x can be replaced with 1 minus sine squared of x this way. And then you're going to have plus the sine of x minus the 1 is equal to 0. Remember, this is all on 0 to 2 pi. And then here, distribute the 2 over, so it's going to be 2 minus 2 sine squared of x, and then plus sine of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Gather as much as possible, so it's going to give you negative 2 sine squared of x plus the sine of x. And now here, remember, I have a 2 over here, and I have a negative 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so this becomes plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, divide every term by negative 1, so it's going to be negative 2 sine squared of x, take this, and then divide it by negative 1. Do the next part, plus sine of x, again take this, and then divide that by negative 1, piece by piece, plus the 1 at the end, divide that by negative 1, and here you have 0, you're going to divide that by negative 1 also. Now you go through and simplify, so negative 2 divided by negative 1 becomes positive 2, so it's 2 sine squared of x. Next one, sine of x divided by negative 1 is negative sine of x, 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. On the right-hand side, 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. What you can do now is rewrite this as 2, say brackets, and then sine of x. Why am I doing this? Because then I'll be able to use something called we, we call variable substitution. So put the sine of x kind of within brackets, square this, and then minus. And again, this is really sine of x this way within brackets, so to speak, minus 1 equals 0. And now you set u equal to sine of x. That allows you to rewrite the equation as follows. 2 u squared replacing sine of x with u minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, you can factor this. I'm not going to show you that step because it's kind of going back a little bit too far in terms of trig. But let's just accept at face value that it factors into the following. So 2u plus 1. And then here it's going to be u minus 1 is equal to 0. That's the factorization step. Then from there, just set each factor equal to 0. So either 2u plus 1 is equal to 0, or the other possibility is that u minus 1 is equal to 0. Solving this, you're going to have 2u equals negative 1, then divide through by 2, therefore u is equal to negative 1 over 2. For the second equation, it's just u equals positive 1 after you move the 1 over. We'll find the solutions using the unit circle. But remember that u is defined as sine of x, so this is sine of x is equal to, and then you're going to put here negative one half, that's one fact. The other one is, it says here that u is equal to one, that's like saying that sine of x is equal to one, in other words. Now this means for the first part right here, you have to look through the unit circle and pick out any y coordinates whose value is negative. So you see that that occurs right here at seven pi over six, and also right here, negative one half at eleven pi over six. So those are the two, first two solutions you can write down. So let me mark those down right now. So x is either 7 pi divided by 6, or the other possibility is that it is 11 pi divided by 6. We just have to take care of the other piece now that says that sine of x is equal to 1. So that means this piece right here. The only place that occurs is right here. The y coordinate is equal to 1, and that occurs at pi over 2 in terms of radians, which means the other solution is x is equal to pi divided by 2, and then these are the two solutions that fall within the 0 to 2 pi range. That's pretty much it. So thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.